Good morning, guys. Welcome to your Thursday morning market brief. I felt like I needed to nearly dust the hat off for the cash cow cap. It's been a while, but the US markets rallied very strongly through the Wednesday trading session with the S&P 500 up 1.85% and the NASDAQ up a little further than that, 2.14%. That came on the back of some comments from Lael Brainard, one of the US Fed committee members that essentially said, that we may end up going too far with respect to raising interest rates, and we need to be careful around that. Uh, the committee member did say that the Fed will continue to raise rates, and right now there's a, uh, a market that is betting on the Fed raising rates uh, by three quarters of 1%. The market is betting 86% chance the Fed raises rates by three quarters of 1%. But as Lael Brainard said, uh, the Fed may go too far, and that, the market saw that as a positive because I've been reminding investors that at some point in the last few months of the year, the Fed will ease up on the accelerator with regarding interest rate increases. And that's going to be a good sign for the market. Another good sign for the market overnight again, and I know I've been repeating it, but it is one of the leading indicators for inflation, and that is oil. Oil has dipped below uh, 83. It's now, in fact, it's down 5% at $82 a barrel, which is another great sign that inflation and prices are likely going to continue to retreat. So it was a really positive day on Wall Street. Apple, of course, had their new iPhone event. I won't give you all the update on that. You can read about that online. But it has the new iPhones out. And the good news, there was no price increases across the board. So plenty of people being able to upgrade their phones. So the Aussie dollar's trading at around about, what is it, uh, 67.68. So it's actually moved higher. It's just slightly through that US trading session, but it was a super positive one. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.